Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about my empties from August. So if you're excited to see all the stuff that I used up, then just keep watching. So I'm gonna be pulling out of my basket right here. So let's just get started. The first thing I have is the only candle from last month and it is Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. So this is Tropical Passion Fruit, Radiant Kiwi, and Juicy Pineapple. This was so good. It was in my project over the last couple of months. And honestly, I really just smell the pineapple in this, but it smells so good. It was nice and fresh and really pretty packaging. I'm glad to be finished with it because I'm done. I'm over summer scents, but it was really good. I probably would repurchase it. Oh, and I meant to say, if you're wondering how to get this makeup look, how I got this makeup look, um, it will be on my Instagram. So check the link in my bio and you can go check me out on Instagram and see how I got this look. The next thing is a hand soap from Bath & Body Works in Crisp Apple. Again, with those fresh scents, it's really, really cute. Um, I really enjoyed it. It's the Creamy Luxe hand soap, which is probably my favorite formula. It has kind of that like pearlescent shift to it. Um, and it smelled really nice and refreshing, so I did like that. The next thing I have is the Mary Cherry Cheer Shower Gel. Um, I liked this. It was also my project. It just smells like straight up cherry, like maraschino cherries. Um, and yeah, it was good. It was nice to have something like kind of fruity. I feel like you could use this all year round. You really, it's not like only a Christmas scent, but I did finish it just now in August, so it was good. I probably won't go back to that scent for a couple years because I'm a little burnt out on it, but it was good. The next thing I have is the Georgia Peach and Sweet Tea Ultra Shea Body Cream. I did cut this open. If you guys didn't know, definitely, definitely cut open your body creams because you can get quite a few more uses out of that all the way down there. So I think I got like three or four more uses after I cut this open, so highly recommend doing that. But this is like a good scent for kind of closing out August, closing out summer. So I did like that. The next thing I have is, oh my gosh, so, it was so good. Strawberry pound cake hand cream. It was so yummy, oh my gosh. I kind of went through this like really fast because I enjoyed putting it on like so much at work. It was awesome. So I highly recommend that. I think they did actually just come out with another strawberry pound cake hand cream for the fall. So it was so good. The next thing I have is not Bath and Body Works, but it is this soft soap, juicy pomegranate body wash. I had this leftover from like a few trips. It had just been like sitting in my collection and I was like sick of having it. So I just used it up. It, I really only had like this much left of it. So just finished that off and that was fine. I do have a few pocket bags. So the first one that I have is I'm really a mermaid surf and sands. It was really cute. This is from a few years ago. Um, glad to have used it up. It kind of had a little bit of a coconut uh, scent to it. So that was nice. Fresh sparkling snow with this little gnome on it. So cute. Um, but yeah, it was really good to use. I think this one, no, it wasn't glittery. So we're good. And then I have You're the Best. I don't know what scent this was, but it was really nice. So finished those three off. And now we're gonna move into like skincare. So I just have this like EOS lip balm. I don't really even know what flavor the purple one was, but I used it all the way down to the bottom. So definitely love, I love EOS lip balms. They're so good. I have a Burt's Bees Vanilla Bean lip balm. This was really good. It like smelled and tasted really good. I don't know. I really enjoyed that. I might have to buy another one once I run out of lip balms. The next thing I have is this Tony Moly Aloe Sheet Mask. I like these. They're pretty cheap. Um, I don't feel like they do too much for my skin, but they're like really nice and relaxing for like a pamper day. So that was pretty nice. I'll probably purchase those again. Then I have the Trader Joe's Rose Water Facial Toner. This stuff, like, you're not actually supposed to use this. <laughs> like, it's actually not supposed to be good for your skin. So I just wanted to get this out of my collection. Um, yeah. The next thing I have is the Lancome Aqua Gel Defense SPF 50 Sunscreen. Um, I got this at, for free from my cousin, and I really enjoyed using it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, the next thing I have is the Mary Kay Botanical Effects Hydrating moisturizer in the number one line. 
this was also really good. I really like the botanicals line from Mary Kay because I have pretty like sensitive and very dry skin, so that was nice. I have one makeup product here, and it's actually like one of those sample cards that you get in the mail, and it's a Becca Opal highlighter. So it came with a liquid, a powder, and then a cream, and I used all of them, and I really enjoyed it. Um, I don't think I'd ever buy a full-size one, but it was really nice. And then these two aren't technically empties, but I'm going to include them because I'm using them right now. So I have this pumpkin cupcake car fragrance refill in my car right now. It smells so good. I don't smell much pumpkin from it, but I do get a lot of like cupcake scents. So when I get in my car, it just smells really nice. And then I have a marshmallow fireside wallflower in the wall right now. It's so strong though so I have to keep like unplugging it because it's like a little too strong but yeah so that was everything that I used up this month it was quite a lot I'm pretty proud about that hopefully next month I'll have a lot more candles used up um, if you haven't seen I added quite a few to my project use it up so we'll see if I can finish all of those but thank you guys so so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye